That was weird. That, that just sounded weird to me. All I can do here is just laugh. Like this is somebody who has no regard for any law in any land because he doesn't even respect America. I <laughs> see the things he's talking about. He's he's actually publicly talking about scamming the people that were texting him then. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like this is bread right here. He's he's using he's using his fellow brothers and sisters. Imagine he is and it's just the blind who can't see you know the only thing i can do is feel bad for them you know it's very sad because what are you doing to your own brothers and sisters imagine what he'll do to us imagine what he's doing to me <laughs> you know like i do not even condone calling his wife out of his name and when he disrespect his wife look i'm also checking him like seriously dude <laughs> 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 that I mean, I can't even say anything more. He already said whatever he is. I can't even respond to that because this takes a fellow criminal to respond to another criminal. <laughs> so I can't respond <laughs> on that. That's criminal mentality. <laughs> and I'm not a criminal law practitioner. I don't represent criminals. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anything, uh, Kenyan Reactor, you want to say about that? No, I have nothing to say. This is just uh, an unbelievable guy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I concur. All right, let's go ahead and hit the next segment. No, who is shit? Have you ever... No, who is shit? Have you ever had to go through 500 text messages? You don't know which one's real or fake? That's my life right now. Nobody told you to put your number on social media, I don't give a I'd rather talk to the people who they know they can call me direct. Shout out to my wife doing all paperwork and all that. Shout out to Tisha Boo. Hey, Tisha Boo. That's my baby. Love her forever. That's my baby. Have you ever been infatuated with a woman, my guys? Have you ever chased your wife around the house like she's your new girlfriend? <laughs> I'm always infatuated with my wife, but, uh, you know, I'm not like a new girlfriend, no. But as it should be, every man, every actually every woman deserves that, you understand? Yeah. I mean, wives deserve that from, from, you know, from their husbands. What is the point of you marrying somebody if you're not planning to be infatuated, do whatever to her every day, you understand? So, well, that is that point right there is good. I picked up another point that he said... Uh, Shout out to my wife doing the paperwork. Did you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She is the one who does the paperwork. I told you this individual is dumb. Dumb, the dumbest. <laughs> and I'm saying this <laughs> without prejudice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the truth anyway. So wifey does the paperwork. And I'm glad that he's infatuated and, you know, loving her or whatever. <laughs> at the end of the day but he just revealed a lot of stuff so 
you're saying you said my wife does the paperwork yeah you you actually did this on your own live and the people who recorded this is not even me like i've gotten a lot of support from people i don't even know people that i know like they've recorded this thing they have all these things and they're just like see we know we know masi and i feel so blessed and honored and I, i don't know there's nothing more i can say and this i'm actually doing for you guys um, yeah it's so you can see you know why it for him i wouldn't even bother he's a little guy he's a little guy askama who will probably have no he takes photos of uh, him he posts them with artists there's a specific one he does with jay z and yeah probably he met them one. at a party probably he met them at a party and you know posed with them in a photo hi can i have a photo with you or maybe they were friends or business partner i don't know i wasn't there he he's worked but, with a few he's worked with a few but i don't think he worked for every single one of them but he uses with. those photos he uses yeah. those photos i want to see a current photo of you with jay z nigga oh sorry i don't know why i did that or i say that because i think i'm in in the responding to him situation kind of you know mm-hmm. and it's saturday night imagine instead of i have a lot of work here you remember when i told you like i have to be done so i can go like i have a lot of work to do and i'm over here addressing mm-hmm. this situation <laughs> yeah so you can imagine he takes photos reposts photos when he was still young when he managed to meet them probably he was in the industry and i didn't i've never had anything about jt the jt that i know that i've seen from a page on instagram the shed room i've seen is jt is a female I've, like this jt is only famous on youtube with his little minions you know there's other subscribers of his that are objective they just follow quietly he doesn't know most of them are just recording for what purposes and then there's a few ones who talk about mercy you don't know me shut up i mean don't you have anything meaningful to do with your life other than talking about this lady you don't even know you're pressed about her personal life because you don't know anything i do not put anything out there so you will never know you'll never see and i would never why would i show my clients my personal life you understand that's a professional uh, unethical actually misconduct you cannot do things like those for me it's professionally that is how i deal with my clients anything else that is out of order so he puts up those photos see me and those are all photos when you're still a teenager show us the current ones none of these people wants to be around you because of your reputation in the industry or in the scam world and now he can only start hanging out with scammers because those are his friends i know fellow scammers have beef with me because i'm trying to out their guy and this is whatever shut up i don't give a damn about none of you thieves because the only place you'll always thrive is in the gutters anyway that is his life choice whatever he decided to do but when you do something like that i'm definitely going to respond i mean this jurisdiction all you have to do is come back let's go to court please provide your evidence do this and that you know and he's talking about this land that he's being held for by his attorney so what are you talking about <laughs> we'll talk about that again when you know if i whatever get time and then we can do this but i think i'm done with that maybe unless if kenyan reactor has anything father to add uh so i think for me what i see from jt uh he also you know like continuously reacting uh, all the time on issues and it doesn't actually help and also just people coming around making fictitious accounts to would wink people that they are us and i find him to be that is his character and that is that is who he has been and actually is maybe it might be something new to him but you know like even taking pictures with people uh purporting they are working together it's not new we have seen many people who have come to kenya actually and purport the same and at the end of the day we know what happens it goes to uh to be a bigger scam than we have never seen so uh whatever he's doing we, we i think he maybe somebody didn't give him notes before uh to know that uh, this is common and we know how it goes and we were on high radar on him and uh, now 
more is coming out from from our side to expose what he did all right ready let's go to the next one them thousand dollar packages just the last of it right here y'all i'm gonna separate the land from the triplex the certificate come with land and it come with the triplex so you know it's, it's your choice but if you wait till he's gone then the land is separate from traffic. There, it's not all together. It's not a bundle. So them bundles I've been promoting is five left. Did I tell y'all it's gonna sell out? This shit sell itself, man. But I had to make the video because I still got a lot of people texting <laughs> some funny little shit. I'm like, bro, this is not that. This ain't welfare. This ain't the welfare package. Ain't no welfare. Trap place or Africa. It's nothing against you if you don't have money right now. Don't feel bad. It's just you can't afford this package right now. But if you were smart, you would put a deposit down and then that way you can negotiate when you think you'll be ready. No deposit. Ain't nothing to talk about. I got people like, hold it for me. I'm like, yeah, we cool, we homies, but I can't hold none. If another person come by, then I'm selling. I only got five of them deals left. Everything else is gonna be separated. It won't be all together. I did this for people, you know what I mean? Yeah, God bless you, man. God bless, man. I hope everything work out for you. Yeah. Any words? <laughs> First of all, uh, let me call him out for using the name of God in vain. That is very wrong. But God himself will deal with you on that. Uh, another thing is uh, you see how he was treating his fellow Americans. You know, these are people. When somebody entrusts you with business, if I give you my money, I expect you to treat me with integrity, I, I mean, uh, civilly. He's treating them, abusing them. You know, you may not afford these packages now. And remember, he's selling this land while he's in america imagine so how do you sell kenyan land and you're in america and he's forcing them to put down deposits telling whoever doesn't afford now you know it's okay you can do it whatever but right now i only have five slots what are you selling have you subdivided this land do they have kenyan attorneys holding their portions of the land are they planning to get citizenship or are they just holding it what, what what's it you know all you're doing is you're using the fact that I had land for you to start selling, put down your deposits. The way he's even selling, imagine the, the wife is preparing uh, paperwork and he's over here harassing them. The way he's treating them. And then to see some of them just, they can't see that. They just be leaking, <laughs> be leaking him, following him. Oh, but he's a legend though. Legendary failure that is the word and it's so unfortunate but this is the predicament that he put you guys and it's good that there's russians african-americans and those ones i want to associate with them but this other caliber <laughs> i don't even i have no words for you except that i mean uh I don't know what you live for. I don't know, but you deserve him. You actually deserve JT because probably you see yourselves in him. He is the absolute mentor because you are potential and future scammers. So continue thriving in your cocoons and Wutan clans and small groups. Be for the men, be a man. Be a man. Be the alpha. Be the king. And for the ladies and the queens, how can you be blindly following somebody who just has a Wi-Fi and a camera and bigger figure? No. This is a child who has never evolved. He's abusing you and you're giving him your money. He's talking about, I'm jealous. Jealous of what, maniga? You can only be jealous of somebody who probably you know. I don't know you. Other than the advocate-client relationship that we had, the retainment uh, uh, relationship we had, I do not know you enough to be jealous. She's jealous because I'm making more money. 
you know i can't talk about my money but all i'm saying jealous of what you have feminine undertones why are you fighting somebody who is almost one and a half decade younger than you i don't want to put up the feminine card but and your age mates right now working on their retirement what are you doing going back and forth with educated intelligent rashas young atoni something you could never be in a thousand years you and your scammer spouse would never be me in this lifetime but all i can tell you is you can still change all i'm asking for is for god to grant you a long life so you can think about everything you've done change for the better you are attacking somebody who all I, they ever did was help you for me to tell you this time you cannot buy this property in your name it can be held by a kenyan citizen i was helping you because that is the truth that is the law i stand by it for the record that i'm saying for the record you cannot have it in your name so all those purported attorneys you met are half baked and are not uh, 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 experts in the fields that okay you know you can be a criminal attorney and you don't know anything about conveyancing and and land laws commercial transactions mergers acquisitions immigration anything like that if you do not know like i told you guys last time the stuff that i'm not well versant or conversant with i have to you know get a, a, a colleagues who have uh, specialized in those areas but you cannot get an attorney just because they want some money there yeah you can have it in your name in film africa you cannot have a company called film africa and i kept telling him there's conversation we on record where i'm telling him whoever is purporting to tell you this is just also obtaining money from you and you're happy with them because they're telling you what you want to hear you see i'm that kind of attorney who you'll be mad at because i'll not tell you everything you want to know but i'll keep you out of trouble because you being put on a title after the promulgation of the constitution and you're a foreign resident or a foreigner who is just like a tourist and you are on a list of frequent title because there's um, scrupulous people you know they collude with the land registries and whatever that's why you see the courts now are lifting their hands up and saying due diligence the standard must be extremely high 1000% not 100%. So it doesn't mean if I come over here and flash a title deed that it is valid. No. Official search historical uh, uh, requisitions make those questions. Conduct due diligence, go to the property, bring us some bear, look at the beacons, demarcations, who owned this property before this current owner and the person before that and the other one. get all that information get the acreage go to the survey um uh, a, a department go and buy a map a map is only 20 kenya shillings 20 kenya shillings yeah but if you want it immediately you will have to facilitate something small but you can apply it's 20 shillings i don't know if it's 100 right now i don't know i usually send um my staff all right get the map certified map don't just get a map because it's a map and it has the Nairobi area or whatever area you are in get the one that is satisfied certified that is the true map you can get a map that someone has doctored to change the measurements because you are supposed to make sure the measurements on the ground are the same as the measurements on the map and this is found at the survey department you know there's a director of surveys for each district nowadays their counties and these those offices these are government offices you understand get us a surveyor do all this cheap is very expensive you may say, oh let me just buy it i don't want an attorney let, let my driver do it for me you will be surprised when you've already erected a house or a bungalow or whatever there are 5 10 years down the line you are told you know what this land was illegally acquired this title is not good you know concepts of defeasibility and indefeasibility so you need to get if you're buying land get a convincing expert 
don't just get an attorney because I'm an attorney of the High Court of Kenya. Now they may be a family lawyer and they do not know anything. So they say, okay, you are foreign or fine. Do they know everything regarding that? Are they on the ground? Do they handle these uh, transactions practically? Have you done any transfers? Do people have land actually and you facilitated those transactions? Because some attorneys are just criminal practitioners, others are just family lawyers or whatever. So you don't know if they are, they may have put that on their website. That's why don't just look at whatever you're seeing and yeah, that's it. This is a good attorney. No. And they have reputations out here. There's attorneys, they'll tell you they take clients' money and they take off. You know, imagine if I was those bad people, I would have taken off. We won't even be talking about this title. I don't know, transferring me, replacing a title when it's lying, it's lost. But why would, for what purpose? You see, and, and, and criminals, they they really want to be the rashest people. So that's why they get obsessed. Like this obsession is not anything sexual or anything like that. But he wants to be me so bad. Or he sees that. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to go there. Let's uh, proceed to the next. <laughs> Thank you.